Hi, Paul from Rotec Aerosport. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Rotec TBI fuel injection system, and it's just going to be a general overview to start with. Future videos will cover more technical topics, do's and don'ts, FAQs. But in this particular video, we're going to have a brief introduction on the TBI itself. So, how did the TBI start for Rotec? Well, it all started about 2008 when we were handed an Allison throttle body fuel injection system, which we tried as an alternate over the Bing carburetor. We were blown away with just how well that unit performed and we were absolutely uh, convinced that that was the way to go. Unfortunately, at the time, Allison was very expensive and their supply was poor. They're a very high quality product and so with their patents long expired, we looked at uh, developing our own unit and that we did. And in 2009, we came up with the TBI 40S, which was the first unit we built for our own Rotec radial engines and they were very successful. Uh, shortly after that period of time, uh, other people came to us and said, hey, listen, you've got them for the Rotec engine, what about for Jabiru's and Continental's and the O320 and all the myriad of engines and variety of engines that are out there. And so before we knew it, we were making a variety of TBIs, which includes the TBI 48, which I'm holding here now, which is suitable for the O360. We do the TBI 40 for the Rotec and the uh, small Continental's and Lycoming's. And we even do a 34 millimeter unit for the smaller engines such as the Jabiru 2200 and the smaller VW engines. But we do do a TBI to suit just about every engine up to 250 horsepower. So the production of the Mark 1 unit starting in 2009 and then in 2014 the introduction of the Mark 2 unit combined selling over 1200 units, this, the TBI has been a success story from the outset and has continued to improve. The main differences between the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 are that the Mark 1, which uh, as I said started earlier on, um, has the regulator separate, whereas the Mark II unit, which is the one I'm holding here now, has the regulator integral. But principally, both units function exactly the same. Uh, the introduction of the regulator was really just to make the unit more efficient, more compact from a production standpoint, and perhaps from an installation standpoint, it's a little simpler with everything being combined in one. But as far as performance is concerned, there is no difference. The Mark I and the Mark II unit both share the same throttle body, spray bar, metering regulator, the same componentry, the same slide throttle, basically it's, it's exactly the same. Some of the other advantages of the TBI are that uh, as a result of the 50 tiny 10,000 jets along the length of that spray bar, this results in the finest atomizing you could possibly imagine. It comes off like literally like a fog, it's so, like smoke, it's so finely mixed compared to a conventional carburetor. This results in significant power increases. We typically see anywhere between 50 and even 250 RPM more power at the top end on most engine installations. It is significant and we've received just hundreds of uh, testimonies to that fact. Of course with the absence of any float chamber or float bowl, the TBI is fully aerobatic and can be mounted and installed at any attitude and as I said it can be flown at any attitude including extreme aerobatics. Well that just about wraps up our TBI introduction. I hope you got something out of it. Um, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, you can contact us via email at sales at rotecaerosport.com or you can get in contact through our website at rotecaerosport.com. In future videos, we'll be covering more in-depth topics related to installation, troubleshooting, do's and don'ts, frequently asked questions. And on the topic of questions, please like and subscribe to this video and leave your comments below. The comments below will very much dictate where we take our next videos and will give us a bit of a trend over the information that people require. But we certainly will be continuing with this series because we know that a lot of people out there have TBI and they need more information and we can use this vehicle to really get a lot of information across. And until the next video, it's bye for now.